A quick intro, where the speed and the performance of the boat is affected by the sail shape, how it's trimmed, where the sail's sitting, wind shifts, gusts, wind bouncing off hills, start line bias and a whole heap more. The first levels focus on the basics. Click and drag sideways on the mainsail, we pull it in or ease it out. What we're aiming to get is a nice even curve without that flappy bit at the front. As the boat changes direction or the wind changes direction, keep adjusting the sail to get that nice even curve. Remember, flappy sail is an unhappy sail. Pull it in. Too much? Ease it out. So on these early levels, uh, this particular one has both the mainsail uh, that we can adjust to make us go faster and also we can steer with the rudder, uh, don't hit the islands, just head through the gaps and round the marks towards the finish line. On the first of the balance exercises, all we have the control is over the sailor itself. There's no steering and there's no mainsail, you can tell because it doesn't light up green. So just move the sailor around. As a single sail boat, when we're going downwind, we want to halt, heel it to windward slightly uh, over towards the sailor, but not too much so that it capsizes. And then as the boat jibes, and it will do that automatically, we need to correct the balance to keep the boat going. On the first tacking level, uh, we've just got control over the rudder, there's no controls over the sail, and the aim here is that as we get towards the mark, all we basically do is we point up a bit closer to the wind, as we go up closer, the sail will automatically pull on. Watch how much the rudder turns, if we push it too far, then it slows down, not enough and we don't turn enough. We can look at the top screen to see actually how far we have gone at any particular time. Watch the angle of the rudder. We need to be at about 45 degrees to get a nice even turn and then straighten up ready for the next leg. For our first race, uh, we put it, start putting it all together. So we've got balance, we've got steering and we've got our mainsail and we've got a time running up in the top corner here. 20 seconds to go for our start. Our aim is to start, go up towards the top mark that you can see up there towards the bridge. Uh, we reach across the wind at the top and then we come downwind to finish. I'm currently going backwards so I need to reverse my tiller so that I get some speed and then pull the sail on. Now I'm away. Our favourite level 13 is just for a blast. We've still got our balance, we've got our sails, we've got steering and it's just a case of you can lean out a bit further, um, make the sails pull on and then as we speed up we go into a planing mode uh, where the boat is definitely going faster but watch the, uh, watch the wind, you can see that the water is much darker and that reflects the strength of the breeze and down in this bottom corner we've got our boat speed and our wind speed. We're hurtling along here pretty well at the moment. One of the last of the free levels uh, shows you what's in store if you buy the upgraded version uh, where we've got our sail, we've got our full, uh, obviously our main sheet we can actually steer even though we're on the dock and we've got balance even though that we're on the dock um, but the boat isn't actually going anywhere. But it does give you a demonstration of our sail controls over in the corner so by pulling the vang on we get the uh, sail curve and that's now on too much. If we click and drag in this area, drag sideways, we can actually change the view and you can see that that curves too much and it actually will slow the boat down. If we ease the vang off a little bit we get a much fairer curve and that's probably at its, uh, at its peak for performance for this particular boat. Uh, we've got our outhaul to flatten the sail and our cano to move the draft further forward and these are more advanced uh, controls that we'll be using in the other editions. And now for our club champion levels. Trim of your boat has got to be one of the biggest secrets on dinghies that you'll ever find. So in this particular one we pull our sails on, uh, steer to the right sort of course and again still looking at our telltales which we learnt last time but now we've got also our control over our sailor that can move forward and come back. You'll note the speed change and when they're sitting right back you go nice and slow and there's bubbles at the back or if you want to go faster, which I'm expecting you will, you need to sit further forward and the wake line changes. Don't forget you're still steering on your telltales so you're doing your trim and you're doing your rudder. So in this one we, uh, we're looking at our first of our wind shifts, uh, pull our sails on, steer up so that we get our telltales setting correctly and don't forget to sit forward to get our trim right and our wake line happening there. The next option here is that 
You keep sailing a straight course and the telltales will keep changing because the wind is changing direction. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to look at our view up here and look at also what's going on when we're looking at the horizon. So at the moment we're sailing on a knock because constantly we're moving, we need to bear away and we're moving further and further away from where we want to be going. It would be a good idea on a knock to be tacking. Now the wind is uh, lifting back up again. No, it's not. It's still knocking. Still knocking. Still knocking. So it would be definitely a good idea to tack. This is an example of one of the races that are included in the game. And here we're focused on wind shifts. So not only do we have our sail controls, but we've also got our balance of our, uh, our sailor. We've got our telltale showing us what's going on. We need to sit further forward to get the, the wake line changed from our bubbles to our proper, proper line and uh, point up and we're probably just about ready to start. Unfortunately I've been going the wrong direction while I'm talking so I'll need to tack over and head towards the start line. The wind shifts on these we've got uh, small uh, small hills which the wind will bend around and we've also got large landforms where which will cause the wind to curve down the course. Oscillating wind shifts and our gusts that we'll be able to see on our view coming down the uh, down the course as well. So here we are racing and onto the more advanced versions of the Regatta Master. Uh, the other Vang uh, levels uh, focus on different wind strengths and both going upwind and going downwind. So again we need to, uh, to pull a Vang on here and in the stronger breeze it behaves differently. You'll need to see the help screen as to see what, uh, exactly what you need to be doing but they do reflect what you would be doing in your normal boat. So on our start line bias, what you need to do is fairly quickly assess which end is favoured and don't forget we need to sit forward to make it easier, we need to balance, we've got our sails and we've got our vang. So now we need to look at, uh, at our view. The start line is between the start boat and the mark and the start line itself is fogged out to make it a little bit easier to see uh, but you need to get to the correct end and as soon as you can then start the finish line is just upwind of the correct end. If you get in, if you finish within 20 seconds, you're doing okay. If you finish within 10, you're doing really well. And if you finish within five, that's awesome.